Namaskar to all the listeners from around the globe and a big thank you to all of you to tune into today's program of Khel Grahon Ka. I'm your host Mohit Shrimali. The topic for today's program is to dive into the world of astrology and understand from the point of view of an astrologer how the month of June 2019 looks for each of the zodiacs. What is to be expected? Where great precaution is to be practiced? What days are going to be fruitful and which days in particular are the ones where you may suffer from health problems or problems relating to your work environment? After a detailed study on YouTube channel and programs relating to astrology, I have come up with a more detailed analysis of the month where we'll be talking about the dates and time from where changes should be expected. All this will be done by analyzing the natal moon's transition from first house to the 12th of the zodiac horoscope. Now be aware, all the discussion is based on Indian standard time, that is IST. And if you are from any other part of the globe, please carry please calibrate your clocks to IST for understanding the cause and effect of the month that we will be talking about during the program and make notes of the same in your time zone. Special mention on two dates this month, a World Environment Day that falls on 5th of June and International Day of Yoga that falls on 21st June. Without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it and explore what the month of June has in store for us. As soon as the natal moon transcends into the second house, brace yourself for a short day of leg pulling, humiliation, non-cooperation from peers. After all in the previous transition you were deemed one of the best performers. However, a few keen eyes didn't take it so well. But always remember it's just a phase with no time it will pass. Today what seems unattainable tomorrow will be achievable. Be aware worries will surround you regarding the future course of action. Refrain yourself from arguments or fights as it will cause domestic disturbance. Remember, tomorrow is a whole new day, it's a whole new beginning and you can't imagine the way it can turn up. For those who work in silence their success speaks for itself in today's day and age of accumulation of materialistic things to boost one's status even at the cost of taking up financial help from peers or financial institutions is a big mistake many make for you though this period of transition is all about success achievement happiness and positivity a sound sleep relaxes you to take on the day with stride with great confidence and head held high you could close deals achieve targets this day will be full of energy siblings friends and relatives will feel full support and support your decisions domestic disturbances will also fail your attempts towards your goal will seem sure-footed and attainable try giving your partner a little relief cook for them go out for a dinner or simply walk and have a great chat your happiness and energy needs to be shared with people around you Natal moon in the 4th house would hinder progress. For all enthusiastic drivers and riders, you must specifically practice caution as damages are prone to happen in this period. However, I would also suggest you to be on the cautious side of things for now. This time period could cause anxiety, panic and restlessness. For people suffering from any health problems, surge in blood pressure and spike in stress levels is also foreseen. Relatives from maternal side can cause troubles or disturbances in your household. Rather, distance yourself from any disturbances and try making out of the period. Take special care of your health, especially your chest region and digestive tracts. Play cautiously with money. Restrain yourselves from pulling out of any investment or making investments in this period. Natal moon in the 5th house. The problem arising from the previous transition can still continue in this period. Take special care before it gets to a stage where treatment is unavoidable. You will feel demotivated and unappreciated. We speak about feelings as natal moon's transition to a very large extent tells us about the feeling of its native. The moon can also be held responsible for decision making. Remember, this is not going to last. For every individual it is very tough to match others expectation of how they should be because every person has a certain perception of the person in front of him to how he should particularly act or react 
Remember, try putting yourself best foot forward and not get agitated by constant questioning. Better to take a step back in this period and reevaluate the scenario and your plan of action. While you're doing that, also make sure to account for any other unforeseen variables into your plan of action and accommodate for the same. Natal Moon in the 6th house Remember the investments that you did. Check on them timely. A right time to reinvest and reap what you have sowed. Health-wise, your trajectory has shown major fluxes from past few days. Thus, a recovery period in the ahead time is also foreseen. Special care is to be taken, however. The natal moon in the 6th house from the native's house exhibits progress and good health. Rekindled spark in life and many more. However, caution must be taken when getting involved with the opposite sex as for any trouble. Overall, a good time to enjoy with your partner. Financial gains. Also enjoy health recovery and success. Natal moon in the 7th house. The next 54 hours are marked for utmost positivity around you. Unhindered progress and uninterrupted bundles of happiness your way. This time period of natal moon's transition in the 7th house also signifies expansion of social circles or work circles especially in the direction of the opposite sex. If you have been planning or desire to acquire a new asset, rather that be a movable asset or an immovable asset, a machinery or a vehicle, this time period is for you to move forward and make favourable dealings. This may also be a very good time to make short-term investments and accrue profits from it. This time period will boost your confidence and leave you feeling blissful. Health problems, stress, anxiety, aggression, pointless disputes, accidents due to careless driving may cloud you. Try to stay sober, hydrated, eat healthy and drive cautiously. If any conference is scheduled for the transition, example a teleconference, a video conference or an urgent meeting in your office, I would suggest you to stay calm and composed. The mantra for this transition for you is to forgive and forget. Keep your calm and think thoroughly about any actions you may want to take. Think about the actions and the repercussions. Before speaking, try having a filter. So you may convey what you desire and that particular message can't be misinterpreted in any way. The natal moon's transition in the ninth house. It seems like the dark clouds won't leave your side. Constant self-doubt and body pain, specifically in hips, thigh and leg region is foreseen. A little ruffle with children is possible. Speak to your children as if they are the wisest, kindest, most beautiful human beings on earth. Remember, children are impressionists. For what they believe is what they may become. Be careful of office politics and projects reaching deadline. Giving a small amount of time to God will bring peace and prosperity. It calms you down and re-energizes you with new hope and clear vision. Possibly, you will also get involved in some charity work. As soon as the natal moon transcends into the 10th house, it would give you the feeling of surrealness, new energy and feeling of being blessed. Like you could take over the world, lately your promotion is due, if so, and you had been expecting one, this is the time you may receive it. But remember with promotion comes responsibility and authority. Use it carefully. Appreciations are in order from peers and superiors. If you had been planning to set up your own business, it is a good time to do so. Thus, due to the same, professional trips around the globe are also foreseen. Your little circle of most interested friends and family members are in full agreement and support of you. This is a really good time period for wealth accumulation and rise in name and fame. Natal Moon's transition in the 11th house signifies end to petty issues. This also means coming over people causing you trouble or anything that hinders your progress. Overall, this period foretells increase in income rather than be from investments or sudden promotion. Accumulation of profits from other sources of income. Good company with family and friends. This period also signifies collection of amount loaned out to people or amount stuck in process. Always remember the credit to your success always goes to people around you. An individual is always evaluated by the company he keeps, his interests and the way he treats the less fortunate. Always remember to appreciate the woman in your life. On this note, Let's move to the 12th house. Natal moon in the 12th house signifies loss of income. This means you must have a really close eye on your expenses. 
try to spend moderately. Remember to do so responsibly if you want to have any fun with your money, with your budget in mind. As this period suggests loss in income and investments, the natal moon in the 12th house brings forth headache, fluctuations in finance, trouble in domestic life, and increase in stress due to the aforesaid situations. Try to be in your lane and don't try any unethical move in business or in office. you will have to pay for it dearly try making out of this period as quietly and calmly as possible long travels praises from peers good health is foreseen with overflow of abundance the day or the upcoming period is marked for family and kids all together a reward if you say for the hard work you have put in the previous days for all my friends in corporate sectors especially in sales and marketing Target meetings and performance reviews are going to be a breeze. For any investors too, the time period is for really good growth. You are going to be appreciated for your work. A good day to plan your investments and move forward, especially for those who are planning to restructure their investment portfolios. For couples, this is a good time to rejuvenate and relax and enjoy each other's company. For any other investor who is trying to make or restructure his portfolio for A small period of time this time period is also really good for them